didn't want to park in that space. Not a good parallel yeah. parker. Not easy, <laughs> I mean, it's a small car. It should be, should be easier, right? All right, we're going to take you guys through a little grocery haul today. So I was going to show you guys the fridge. We have absolutely nothing left in the fridge, and we are two weeks out. So um, food is extremely important right now. I'm trying to make sure I'm you know, packing the calories down. By a little grocery haul, I mean, it's probably gonna be a pretty big grocery haul because we basically have nothing. So we're getting a lot of stuff. We have 2.5 weeks until competition, which means that like, it's gonna be a lot of food and some dirty foods and stuff too, because I'm probably, I, I need to weigh myself. I think I'm probably like 225 or something like that right now. I could be wrong, but um, we're gonna make sure we're getting enough calories. So our training is good. These last couple of weeks, we only have a couple like real sessions left. Like it's Wednesday. Next week is our last heavy week and that's it. So let's do some groceries, get some calories. It's the most beautiful day of the year pretty much so far here. It's like 70 degrees out. It's been sunny, a little windy, but you know, you can manage, right? Essential to any high calorie, low budget diet. So we've mostly just been doing like chicken thighs lately instead of breasts. They're probably like a little bit more calories, but a little more fat. A little, more fat. a little bit more fat on these, but they honestly taste better. And we've been doing a lot of like chicken teriyaki, uh, marinated, marinate them in the chicken teriyaki, throw them on the George Former grill. Absolutely insane. Couple of those. So we'll probably use one of those tonight, freeze the other two, so we can use them throughout the week or whatever. Just you, know you, need to slow down. you just can't go wrong with these. That's, that's such a classic, Steve. It's a classic. That's a big box, bro. Massive, yeah. That's such a big box. Absolute essential, that's the best flavor of Doritos right there. I think it's the biggest grocery haul we've ever done, but we need it right now. We are back, we'll do a quick little overview of everything I got. It was a pretty big grocery haul. We already put everything away and everything's pretty much organized now, but um, it ended up costing, what, $200 for the entire thing? So it's like $230 for me and Steve, which in my opinion isn't that bad. I think this will last us like at least a week and a half or something like that. Um, so I think that's okay. Like I, I personally, we are out of just about everything. So this will, some of the stuff will last us a while, but Anyways, to start off, yeah, we got some cliff bars over here, um, some builder's bars, more cliff bars, just for little casual snacks that I can throw up in my room and everything like that. Now over here, got pop tarts because the s'mores ones, like, are the best. Like, this literally is best friggin' pop tart flavor, and it's just good before the gym or something like that. We got some bananas for shakes. Um, we got a whole new thing, a 10 pound of rice because we basically make rice in the rice cooker like every single day. Um, Got some potatoes, some sweet potatoes, some Aunt Jemima's light butter. It's literally 50 calories that was on sale today, so I got that. No, just wanted to burp in your face. Oh, what up, dude? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got some whipped cream over here. We got some more egg whites down here for our French toast in the mornings. We have some 2% milk, and we basically stocked it up with four packs of Oikos yogurt. So I'll have like one or two of those a day. There's like 12 grams of protein each one. Chicken um, tendies, baby. And they're so they're so good. <laughs> Chicken tendies, baby. All right. We got some more eggs. We got some iced coffee from Starbucks. Some green beans because we've basically been cooking like green beans or broccoli in the rice cooker like every single meal. Just to get some more micronutrients in. Help with that digestion a little bit. Got some Reese's Puffs because that is the best cereal you can get in my opinion. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So. It's, it's, it's cinnamon toast. I don't. It's gonna, it's gonna sear real quick. Reverse sear? Nice. Reverse sear, man. So we come up into the pantry over here. I got ramen, like I said. I finally found some of that. We got some more breadcrumbs over here. Um, we got those. We've got some more pasta sauce. We got some burritos for snacking. Extra calories, as always. It's all about the calories right now. A little bit more pasta. Or we have just so much. We just have so much. Why do we have so much pasta? Why do we not? <laughs> we have so much. Like five boxes a week, like I don't. Have you eaten a whole box before? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Today? absolutely. Well, like in like one sitting, maybe. In one sitting? No, about a half. Yeah, about yeah, a half box. I usually do a half box at a time, but like. So like I'm doing two meals with pasta, and then I I'm, I'm gonna go for a whole box. Like, you know, that, so. Anyways, we got a lot of pasta, so that's good for like a snack anytime. Uh, come to the freezer real quick, and we have 
The rest of our ground beef down here, so we got 92.8 on the ground beef, so somewhat lean. Some ice cream for shakes. Keep the beer, Dad. Yeah, I had a nice little meet and greet <laughs> in the plant. So. He's got some nice stubble going. No, I, I, coming, that's what I'm saying. I, I like the stubble, actually. It's coming really back do. quick. Yeah, it'll be, be back in a week. Yeah, I might have to trim mine up a little bit here, too. But, yeah, so we're going to cook up a little yeah, Ryan, ground beef. Dude, it's, yeah, it's too patchy. Just too patchy, man. Maybe in a couple years I'll hit puberty or something. I don't, I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> All right, so we're doing pre-workout right now. We're doing some strawberry kiwi flight from BPN. And we are doing some creatine as well. So I'm doing two scoops of this per day, 10 grams per day of creatine is the goal leading up to competition here. I kind of stopped taking creatine for a little bit, but um, I think if anything, it's gonna help me, especially these last couple weeks. So I've been taking that for the past couple weeks now, 10 grams per day leading up to competition. We're hitting the gym right now. It's not a huge training day, but we have light sumos and we do have a heavy block bench. So we're gonna hit that. And uh, we have our last heavy day of the entire prep tomorrow. And I have some big news to tell you guys. It goes right along with that grocery haul that we just did. So um, it'll make perfect sense. I'll tell you guys. Alright, so what do I go? Do I go 385 or go straight to like 395? Do I just try 395 or 3? Let's just try it, let's try it. Holy sons, mama's dead kids holding guns. Catch him early, put that poison in they bottles with the Donald Trump. Walking around with the zombies. I know my home team got me. Michael Jordan with the Scotty. Apollo Green with the Rocky. I moved that. I could have gone like 405 maybe. RP 10, 405. Hey, we'll take it. That's supposed to be RP 9. We'll take that. That, you guys take it easy. We have the last, like pretty much the last very heavy day tomorrow, which is Friday, like a week and two days out from my competition. So I'm okay with saving it a little bit. Maybe I'll do a little bit of back, a little bit of biceps or something, but not too much. Oh, little accessories, huh? Save up, man. eat, recover, ibuprofen tomorrow, <laughs> and come back ready to hit some really heavy weights tomorrow. All right, let's do it. But the steady fountain bearing on my fruits, feed them my battalion. Take it fast, you can take it slow. We don't take no breaks, we just take control. Let's take control. Fight the power. All right, so pretty solid workout today. All right, so I gotta head home and get another meal in me. I've been pounding the calories down recently. Well, I'll explain to you guys once we get back home exactly why I've been like literally eating so many calories and trying to get the weight back up. Got myself a nice hefty 1000 calorie shake right here. We're using whole milk in this now. So I got myself a couple gallons of whole milk um, and we use the blueberry muffin BPN whey protein. 10% off using code Dangler. I believe they just came back in stock with the Nutter Bar Blast. Favorite flavor, I think by far, is that one. And then we did some of the strawberry ice cream right there in the shake. We did two big scoops of peanut butter, a banana, 
and a little bit of ice in there. Made that shake and then Natalie helped me make some avocado bagel over here. So did half an avocado, one bagel, obviously everything bagel. So the reason I'm increasing my calories so much and have been honestly eating so much, the big news is I'm going up a weight class for this next competition um, and here's why. So the way it works for Collegiate Nationals is you go in with your team, right? So I'm going in with Ohio State, competing for the Ohio State powerlifting team, basically. It is an individual event, obviously it's powerlifting, you have to go out there and compete individually, but it's similar to like a track meet where you score points for your team and the team with like the most points um, wins. So in, in this case, the top three teams at Collegiate Nationals will go to Collegiate Worlds, right? And uh, so Worlds, I think, is like later on this year. Um, last year, it was supposed to be in Dubai, uh, Collegiate Worlds. So everyone was really trying to go to that. Obviously, COVID had that whole thing canceled down. Um, but at the 105 weight class, which 105 kilograms is up to 231 pounds, which is what I was familiar with competing at the past two times. Now, um, it was pretty highly competitive. You had Wheeze in there. That guy is he's gonna freaking kill it um, next week when it comes down to it. Um, but it was highly competitive and the top person, whoever scores first in their weight class gets, I believe 12 points for the team and person in like eighth place gets, I think one point. So it goes all the way down from there. I, I don't know exactly how it works, but um, I was only slated to get like one or two points based on my current ranking. Um, and the coach of the entire powerlifting team here at Ohio State, he hit me up and said, hey, you have a better chance of scoring higher if you move up to the 120 kilogram weight class. So 120 kilograms is up to 264 pounds. Um, so I'm not going to get up to 264 pounds. I just have to be above 231 pounds. Um, and so the goal here is to push myself up to maybe like 240 pounds body weight, something like that. Just eat as much as I need and drink as much as I need, take creatine, everything. Um, I have a better chance of placing higher in the 120. Um, it's a little bit less competitive, which, yeah, I mean, that's kind of um, a weird move on my end to like switch weight classes, but we had the option to. My coach said I do have a better chance of scoring higher, a better chance of placing higher to help myself out place higher and also help the team score more points and potentially go to Collegiate Worlds uh, later on this year. So that's pretty much the decision is I'm gonna be eating and drinking a lot, trying to get above the 231 pound level. Um, and honestly, just take it as far as I need to go. Like I, I prefer eating in a caloric surplus, feeling really full and just eating a lot every single day. Like I think my training does better that way. So I think in this case, um, if I push my body weight up to 240 or even a little bit higher, honestly, over the next week and a half, two weeks here before competition, um, I think it could only help me. So I think my lifts probably go up as the weight goes up and I'm gonna feel better, better recovered, better chance of placing, better chance of helping the team out. So I'm moving up to the 120 kilogram weight class for this upcoming meet. Um, see if we can see if we can score top five at this meet here and uh, see what we can do, help the team out, go to Collegiate Worlds this year. That's the goal. Kyle's supposed to be honestly placing pretty high this year. Johan is supposed to place pretty high here. Our buddy Jake, he's supposed to place pretty high. Um, so we have a good shot, um, but if I stay in 105s and I'm not as competitive, then there's a less chance of us going to Worlds because I'm just not gonna get as many points for the team. So I'm gonna do what I can for myself, for my team, and um, that's pretty much the decision right now. So uh, I'm kind of excited though, because like I said, I've always been used to gaining weight throughout my entire career, just putting on weight, putting on weight, lifts going up, lifts going up, and I'm excited to get back into that. So I basically, for the past couple days to the past week here, have been like eating a lot of food, drinking a lot of fluids, and just overall trying to get the weight to go up. So um, that's the goal. We are going to have this little meal now. This is probably like, what, like 1,400 calories for the whole thing. Slight change of plans, but it's okay. We're just gonna go ahead and, you know, adapt to that. And uh, I think we're gonna be good, man. I think we're gonna be good. I think the lifts could only go up from here. And uh, I like the fact that we can be more competitive in this weight class. So I'm excited for it. Whoa, come on.